stalkers on my blog. My name is RT, but you probably know that because you've been stalking me. Well, this is my Paris, France essay, and I'm going to read it for a Writing is Gold project. Paris, France was one of the greatest cities in Europe in the 18th century. It was the capital of France, and it was located right near the River Seine. But the perfectly placed city was not as perfect as it sounds. The people there were poor, the streets were filled with trash, and the river ran red, ran red with the blood of the victims of the revolution. This place is where the revolution that changed France began. If you visited France, you would see a filthy city with starving people. Those people were called peasants. Peasants were a part of the first estate, the low class. The male peasants often wore, wore wool, tunics, and stockings that were often handmade. The female peasants' wardrobe consisted of long wool dresses and hats for the winter. Their diet included water, wine, bread, and occasionally cheese or meat. If you look 25 miles away in the Palace of Versailles, you would encounter noblemen in beautiful clothes and eating extravagant foods. The nobility made up 1% of the population in France and were a part of the second state, very high class. They lavished themselves in expensive perfumes and wore fancy coats, waistcoats, large, large cuffs, and a wig. The ladies' outfit included hoop, hoop skirts, court, um, court dresses, painters, corset, and a petticoat. The nobility often feasted on fruit, vegetables, soup, cheese, cake, meat, bread, pastries, and drank water and wine. The buildings in Paris were made of wood and stone. They were very close together and often had triangle or dome roofs. They were often two stories high. The palace, 25 miles away, was built out of marble, gold, silver, stone, and wood. It had 700 rooms, each with chandeliers and lovely pieces of artwork. There was even a hall with pure mirrors, which was which mirror which mirrors were very pricey back then. In Paris, there was a lot of smart philosophers. Smart philosophers. And smart philosophers means good schools. Before the Enlightenment. Most French citizens do not have access to an education, but after the Enlightenment, a standard education was thought to be essential. The average education a French citizen consisted of math, ancient languages, history, rhetoric, logic, math, and science. During the French Revolution, a lot of new inventions emerged, such as braille, pencils, and the most famous, the guillotine. This new killing device was used to slaughter thousands of people. Even the king of France himself had to face its deadly blade. Charles, Dar Charles Dickens once wrote, It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. I really didn't understand what he meant until today. Not understanding that statement was comparing the peasants to the noblemen. Reading this essay, uh, you can see the diversity between the rich and the poor, and if you ask me, 18th century France is a place that I would not want to be in.